You've heard it again and again. Everyone needs a mentor in their career, if not several. Just like you want the kind of friends who can successfully guide you through life's twists and turns. Like how much you should spend on your next apartment, or whether or not you should get bangs. You want people who can provide that same level of support in your career. Mentors can be valuable in just about any stage you're in. Whether you're job searching, getting adjusted in a role, looking to move up, or exploring a new and intimidating path. But what exactly makes for great mentorship? We'll let you in on the secret formula to finding and keeping the perfect mentor for you. Welcome to the channel. You can support us by subscribing, liking and commenting on the videos. Number 1. Relevant expertise or knowledge. It may seem obvious, but your mentor should, more often than not, have some kind of relevant background. Maybe there are a few levels or titles ahead of you, say a VP of sales while you're an account executive, or have worked in the space you're interested in for some time. But they should be able to help propel you forward because they've been there, seen the landscape and know what it takes to be successful. Having some sort of commonality can also be really helpful because that's usually what can bring that relationship together," Dia adds. One thing to watch out for, this person shouldn't be more than 5 or 10 years ahead of you. Someone who's 20 or 30 years out has a wealth of experience to share, sure, but they may also be so removed from where you are that they can't relate to your situation and provide accurate advice. The modern workplace is constantly changing, so what was common practice in your mentor's prime may no longer be relevant. Number 2. Enthusiasm for sharing that experience Just as important as your mentor having expertise is them being willing to share it with you. They shouldn't be someone who begrudgingly hands over knowledge and expects figurative payment in return nor should they reveal things in a vague, manipulative fashion. Rather, they should be open and excited to spread the word. The best mentors give advice not because they like to hear themselves talk, but because they genuinely want others to benefit from the hard-won wisdom they've learned over the course of their career. Number 3. A respectful attitude You don't want someone who criticizes you harshly and unconstructively, mistreats you or others close to you, and ultimately gives you a bad name. That makes for an unproductive and frustrating partnership. And on the rare occasions when good mentors act in a less than respectful manner, look, we're all human, they acknowledge it and apologize authentically. Number 4. Eagerness to invest in others Mentoring is an investment. No one gets paid to do it in their day job, explains Dia, because there is no concrete incentive. You'll want a mentor who finds genuine joy in helping others. Great mentors realize that they're playing a long game, and as a result are patient in how they guide others down their path. They don't expect immediate gains, and they don't give up easily. More importantly, they care about maintaining and growing their professional relationships. Number 5. The ability to give honest and direct feedback. Finding someone who's respectful is key, but so is finding someone who will give you some tough love when you need it. A good mentor knows how to deliver feedback in a way that's constructive, kind and direct, and doesn't shy away from being honest because they're afraid of hurting your feelings. Basically, you want someone who's willing to call you out on your BS, says Finkeldy, because rarely can you get that kind of perspective in the workplace, 
and you know you'll make better decisions and come out stronger with someone like that by your side. While it's great to be intentional about finding a mentor, you shouldn't try to force it or expect things to fall into place right away. The best approach you can take is to constantly be going out and building relationships with people and learning from them. If you're constantly just in that mindset, you'll kind of incept yourself into getting mentors. Thank you for tuning in today's video. I'll see you on the next one.